need fixing up. Let's get a look at you. I need some supplies, Doctor. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. Can you help me? What seems to be the problem? It's my friend Murphy. He went to the family store, but it's been a while, and I'm starting to worry. Can you check on him for me? Okay, I'll try to help. Really? Thank you. It's the big yellow building down the street. Can you bring Murphy back safely for me, please? New mission objective received. I wonder what Diamond City is like. The name has anything to do with it. Must be quite nice. Location discovered.
nice. We won't be stopped by a little thing like a lock, will we? Imam? Everybody, got some news. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? Sounds of explosions. Did you hear the news? We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What, what's happening? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, that is bad news. We, we, do, we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Oh, no. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York. Oh, my God, it's happening. Pennsylvania. Oh, my God. So it's finally happening. Evacuate never changes. Sweet. You better watch your back. It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Got it. Mmm, they taste so amazing. And Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and sticks. We'll get them in It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing! And they'll make you remember everything you read. And so that book. Of course, Mother! Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and stimulants. Stimulants and nutrients. We can taste and perform it together in a potent breakfast cocktail that will provide a day-to-day -day breakthrough in your child's life. I can see the future! Sugar bombs may last up 12 hours. After that, it's anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until the guys last. Cereal has seldom been so crispy, so fresh when it hits your stomach, blasting your brain with 5,000 taste bolts of volcanic delight. Sugar bombs are built from the ground up to prime you for lunch. Tunnel's gotta be somewhere.
Nothing. Damn. Who? Relative. But relative to what is value. At Fallon's, each price represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value. Yes. Mass <laughs> production techniques may have brought things up to speed, but it's time well worn. Relative, but relatively what is value? At Fallon's, each price oh, represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value that also takes luxury into account. Mass production techniques may have brought things up to speed. of a single man, wondered at where Mr. Wallace's science would take progress tomorrow. Now, next week, an exciting new series begins, chronicling one man's journey into the mind of a communist. 
true. I've shrunk myself down with my atomic relay and managed to pass through space on a molecular level. New level increase. New mission but objective the received. I've built my fortress, an impregnable fortress that cannot be reached by normal means. I call it the University. While down there I have recorded, I have planned, I have experimented, I implanted a control Revelation of man's cruelty next week on The Brain of Dr. Darius the Sardo. Well, well. Aren't you the overachiever? I've been admiring your handiwork. We all have. You put on a good show. Only. Maybe you're not useless after all. Our new friend surely has some questions. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. The name's Murphy. Head upstairs to the top floor. I've got a proposition for you. And don't worry. We'll play nice this time. Hey there. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? Is this how you treat everyone? Or are you just putting on the charm for me? And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any misunderstanding. We're a shoot-first-ask-questions-later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they weren't a common criminal? Yeah. We're all friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on, I have some questions first. All right, humor me. What do you want to know? So, what's your story? Tell me about yourself. I'm originally from Detroit. Used to make pickup trucks there at the Ford plant before the war. The thing about being a ghoul is, eventually you feel like you've seen it all. Detroit was never much to look at, even before the war. A century after the bombs fell, I started itching for a change of scenery. Heard rumors about the Corvega plant in Lexington. Decided to make my way east to Boston to check it out. What happened after that? When I arrived in Lexington, the rumors I'd heard about the auto plant turned out to be phony. So I started looking for something else. Joined up with a group called the Minutemen. 
That was a few months before the Battle of Diamond City. Mostly been doing that ever since. Until it all went to shit. What do you mean? What happened to you guys? You're not from around here, are you? How about we do the abridged version for now? The short of it is, everyone I served with in the Minutemen is either dead or turned raider. What's the history of this place? Uh, this place was originally the HQ for a large department store chain called Fallon's. The guy who ran the company was one of those conspiracy nut jobs who thought a big war was coming. Turned out he was right. The company had a large fallout shelter constructed underneath the building, and the rest is history. The survivors of that bunker and their offspring ended up being the ones to repopulate most of the Commonwealth. Eventually, they made Diamond City their primary settlement, and this place kind of fell by the wayside. Which is a polite way of saying it became a prison. Someone needs to deal with the Commonwealth scum after all. I don't understand. Why not just kill them and be done with it? Where's the fun or profit in that? You can only kill somebody once. Slavery, on the other hand... So what do you do here? After what you've seen, you really need me to spell it out? We're slave traders, not gonna sugarcoat it. We deal in raiders, mostly. Capturing them, and once their spirit is broken, selling them to slave owners up and down the eastern seaboard. A few miscreants we let work for us, if they show promise. But the main goal is to ship these degenerates outside the Commonwealth. What can you tell me about the child? Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life. Until the Institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom Judy after they fled to Quincy in 2285. Helped them build a life for themselves there. And then the Quincy Massacre happened. What was the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we can get into that some other time. Let's just say that life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, but from our supposed friends, who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents ended up slaughtered by the gunners, Judy included. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. And that traitor Preston followed us here. I'm telling you, he was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street. And you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat? Both. I want justice for what they did to my mom. And like I explained, you'll get it. If you have patience. Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now... Wait, hold up. You hear that? Oh, damn. Here we go!
Ignition set is active. Hey, hey, thanks for your help. Didn't expect help from a stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Those guys were tough. What do you know about them? Most of the words that spring to mind ain't the ones I'd say in polite company. Looks like it was your lucky day. You can say that again. I guess it could have been a lot worse. Anyway, we appreciate the help. I'm happy to help with anything I can. We could sure use some help fixing some of the damage, but we'll make it. We always do. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. Don't make me laugh. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Not looking to cause any trouble. You aren't afraid the gunners will... retaliate? It's gonna get worse. Way worse. Gunners never back down that quickly. They'll attack anyone they think is too weak to defend themselves. There's nothing left they're afraid of. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Look, I'd love to explore this topic further, but later, okay? Well, it sure was nice chatting with you. Excuse me. I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You all right? I have no idea what's going on here. It's complicated. What do you know about the gunners? Give me the short version. All right, I'll sum it up. No one's really sure where the gunner started out, but something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. Doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? That's a good question. I guess I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the Gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here in Concord? There needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of... details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't defend what's theirs, or hardened killers who can handle themselves. I hadn't thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an overt threat. 
If you build a reputation for being a little crazy, your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost. So, they tend to avoid finding out. Settlers can't instill that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a chain of command where members don't feel too constrained by your influence. But still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involve them in a cause, a crusade against a hated enemy, and make them see their survival as tied to the success of the militia as a whole. Of course, it's easier said than done. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over, and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. Some became raiders or joined the gunners. Others just disappeared. Quincy was the final blow. And now we're back at square one. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the Gunners, the Institute, or who knows what other groups are out there, they're too powerful to take on directly. So we've got to use our weaknesses as strengths. If your enemy is big and you're small, then by extension, you're fast and they're slow. You're hidden and they're exposed. So we break our forces into independent cells who can operate elusively and autonomously. Fighting only the battles we know we can win, capturing the enemy's weapons and gear along the way. And using those tools against them in the next encounter. That way the enemy is supplying us, and we grow stronger as they grow weaker. Makes sense, I suppose. What's our next move? The gunners are calculated and cautious. It's gonna take them a while to figure out what just happened, which provides us an opening. The critical elements in any campaign are speed and adaptability, making decisions faster than the enemy can. Striking first, before the gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. That's likely where the attack came from. The freeway wasn't particularly well guarded to begin with. Probably even less so after the raid. I want you to head over there, take out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons, so we can fortify our presence here in Concord. Prove to me you can handle that task, and I'll have a larger project for you when you return. And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mark the location on your map. Mission objective completed. Unit level increase.